What's going on, guys? It's Jeb. We're here back on Vanguard, of course. We're gonna be back on Vanguard for, for a while, yeah. And by the way, we've been gaining a whole lot of subscribers ever since Vanguard came out and everything, and uh, going up on trending, like trending, trending, and the gaming trending, and all these other things. Just uh, thank you guys so much for this. I'm just grinding out of camo. I'm literally not doing anything special. I've been seeing comments like, why the fuck is this guy even trending? He's literally just playing a game. I, I know, okay? If you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day, especially during this atomic grind, and uh, it's just, it's what I'm doing. It, uh, that's, you know. Over the past few days, I've been having a blast. Like most people that have been giving this multiplayer a chance regardless of most of the complaints that i've seen thus far it's very strange I i've seen such a strange 180 from people and seen so many people say so much shit about the game or lack thereof saying anything about vanguard and now that it's out and they've actually played it they're like this actually isn't bad but obviously uh like yesterday's video i was saying things like oh atomic isn't really that bad the grind isn't really that bad but the more that i'm doing it uh the more that i'm realizing yeah for a really casual player this game might be a little bit of a lot. Like, obviously, if you're the average player, and you got work, you got school, you got all this other shit, if you have to invest who knows how much fucking time into getting this camo just this one camo really it, it is a lot it really is now obviously we would want there to be something that has some sort of merit to we don't we wouldn't want it to be easy but i also you know do feel it for you know overall casual player and maybe the most casual of the most casual just don't even give a fuck about getting the camo anyway but you really don't have that much more to do outside of the camo for a lot of this stuff we need a house playlist please docile's please repeatedly over and over and over again until we get shipment i'm telling you right now hey i'm doing all this lobby shopping now just sitting here picking through all of these maps but as soon as it's shipment i'm staying there uh, again it's my retirement home. so obviously in great call of duty fashion a lot of people sit around and they think that whenever i make these titles on these videos i'm not somewhat purposefully doing it and naming it that way you know what i'm saying i make a video that says the atomic grind isn't that bad and then slowly over time or immediately for comedic effect now my next video i'm just gonna say something that is instead of not so bad something that's you know pretty bad oh it turns out the atomic camo and just in general a shit ton of these challenges and other parts of the game below the surface level they're not insanely game breaking to the point to where i don't know this game has a little bit of a modern warfare 2 feel to it where everything just seems so ridiculous and just fucked up at the moment that it's difficult to tell what is absolutely the head and shoulders most annoying thing to deal with within the game because you get bullshitted by so much random shit anyway. Like, you can make an argument at about how competitive the perk one slot is. Also, by the way, hey, buff fortified, please. Any of you guys have played hardcore yet, please, please, please tell Sledgehammer how bad and how ineffective fortified actually is. Uh, people are running around in hardcore with gammon bombs, just tossing it at you. Hey, I got it on now, bitch. I'm throwing it right back. I don't give a fuck. But obviously, with all those explosions and stuff going on in this game, uh, and having a competitive competitive perk one you would think that when you give up all these crazy perks like ghost tack mass ninja all the things that compete all together within this first category you would think that when you pick fortified you would actually I don't know. Be protected against explosives. It reduces damage by 15%. That is not enough. I know that it says it increases the resistance if you're crouched, but I don't have time to crouch. It's not like I have time to react to a gammon bomb. They just throw it at me. Hardcore is just riddled with people just throwing gammon bombs at each other, um, and there's nothing to counter it because Fortified doesn't do enough. Damage reduction is doubled while mounted, crouched, or prone. It should just be more than 30% straight off. It should honestly just be a hard cap the same way that EOD works at the very least. If there is an explosive that's going to kill you just outright, make it so the explosive can only do like 70% of its actual damage to a player that hasn't been hit by explosives already. It's the same way EOD works. They need to add a uh, damage cap especially in hardcore buff snipers 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 uh, they are outclassed by everything in this game uh even if you go and play like 6v6 if you're playing tactical or the way that the maps are on this game it's just not really that great uh, especially leveling it up even when you go and get the attachments for it sure yeah it's the best that it can be but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's even half of what uh, a two shot to the chest stg is that makes sense especially with the crazy builds that i've been seeing there have been people that have been able to make literally things that just do not move currently i'm using the owen gun by the way I have the mp40 gold the sten gold the thompson gold and now we're on the owen gun and i really really did not enjoy the majority of the time that i was using this gun 
until I actually ended up putting on these, uh, these 762 rounds, which increases my fire rate because it is an SMG, okay? This SMG, the Owen gun, was, it seems like it's meant a little bit more for, like, a medium-ish range, uh, SMG, which is cool, it's fine, it has its place, but not as powerful on this game because anywhere at medium distance and long distance shit even close distance the stg just still beats you good luck sledgehammer I, I don't know what to say the challenges for a lot of the uh weapons just simply do not work I believe that there's an ar out there that has literally a challenge in it to get like 100 certain kills with this certain attachment the attachment literally isn't even in the game so on top of not even being able to complete those challenges even if you do have all the attachments some of them just simply are not tracking my STG, for example, I can't actually get my STG to level 70 because I decided to use it in Warzone a little bit to try to level it up a little. I didn't even max it out. I got it to like 50 something, and it's broken. Same thing with my M1 Grand. So I can't actually get the diamond ARs. I can't actually get the diamond marksman rifles. I don't know. Are the shotguns broken? Oh no, it's a double barrel. Apparently there's some fast loading 12 gauge magazines that literally don't exist. Not to mention how insanely strong this uh, forward Intel perk is now. It's basically like map awareness high alert now <laughs> all these players that we made fun of for not being able to use the radar and shit all this time and they were just sitting there just turning their headsets up just listening to rhino step I mean, i'm loving the game and when everything is fixed quote when everything is fixed uh you know it'll be even better right now everything's all fun and games because you're still trying to figure out what is and isn't even broken and it's difficult to for sure say when something is broken but uh when challenges aren't literally working or tracking or even having uh, attachments that even exist i'm sure there's other issues i'm just drawing a blank i just woke up about 20 minutes ago there are so many more issues uh, automaton uh, ar is apparently wild and has some broken proficiency on it not a powerful proficiency a proficiency that just doesn't work um sometimes your perks literally don't work i noticed that my forward intel stop working sometimes also i swear I, I know that it says it does but i swear whenever i have popped dead silence before i have been able to actually hear my own footsteps which is really weird i basically i was running in the middle of the field actually it was this map i was in the back right here i spawned in this corner over here and there was barely any people in the game i had dead silence down there and i'm running these are the perks that i'm using the majority of the time anyway i've just been running lightweight and things like that especially because i had the point blanks to do I can hear my footsteps just barely, okay? I was in the middle of tax sprinting, and I decided to go and pop my dead silence. There was somebody in the building coming up over here. I popped dead silence, and I swear to you, my footstep audio didn't change at all. Also, you can make the argument that maybe ghost doesn't even work when you pop this. I've heard other people go and say that cold-blooded works whenever you use it. It's so weird. I don't know. Things are broken. Things are fucked up. Uh, the great thing about this game is that the spawns aren't so fucky to where the forward intel just makes more sense. If they had forward intel on these Call of Duties with shitty spawns, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. Luckily, the spawns on this game are pretty good. Especially in Domination, you can actually hard spawn trap the shit out of teams. That means those are good spawns. Being able to spawn trap is a good thing. The basis of playing Domination with the other team is literally getting a hold of the two best flags where you'd be able to spawn trap them in the worst position they could be in. That's literally the objective. You play the objective by killing everybody. You get the two flags, A, B, trap the shit out of them at C for the remainder of the game. That is how it has worked since the dawn of time. Recently, we started getting into these games where you could literally be looking near a flag over there and they're flipping already. They're spawning in middle map and shit. Spawning on B and other things like that. It's just, that's not how it should work. If you get spawn trapped, your objective is to break that spawn trap. You kill the people that are holding you there as the anchors for the traps. You understand how the spawn trap works and who the most important player is to kill to prevent the trap from happening. That is like it's the entire game within the game I mean, the spawns just flip over nothing just defeats the purpose of like the spawn knowledge and all of it now given with all these broken ass things in the game it is still a better game than modern warfare <laughs> i know those modern warfare players are gonna get mad that like dude why every single chance that you get you just go and take jabs at modern warfare we get it dude you don't like the game i'll do that when you stop saying ratio to me okay good luck with that one i do absolutely love the fact that ghost competes with all these other things to the point to where uh so many people are just not running ghost at all so i don't know what it is but the lobbies the, the game chats are just Man, I have heard so many words. Uh, people are fucking losers, man. It's uh, it's pretty incredible. So this will be done. And then I've heard good things about the Type 100. Type 100 is next. I could probably do the Type 100. And I mean, depending on how good it is, I could probably blow through it. I blew through the Thompson. 
It's how I was basically almost able to finish the Owen gun. I crushed the Thompson. The Thompson was probably, honestly, my, the Thompson's probably my favorite gun in the game. Not saying that it's better than every other weapon or whatever, stacking it up, but the feel of the Thompson, I fucking loved it. Loved every form of the weapon that I built on. I used larger caliber rounds. I used the smaller caliber ones. I used the defaults, the long barrels, the short barrels. It's 50 rounds, which is just so much better than having to worry about killing two, three players and then having to reload. You must reload. I mean, obviously, the game is really really broken in a lot of these different ways. It's only going to show more and more and more. The thing is, we haven't had that much communication from Sledgehammer. Uh, I would say that's probably a pretty bad thing. I mean, given it's only been literally a couple days, um, but we haven't gotten any update whatsoever. It is Monday. It's the beginning of the new week. So I assume we're going to end up hearing something from them. I just really don't know exactly going to address everything one by one. I feel like the community is going to tell them and say a lot of things that simply aren't true. And they're going to waste a lot of time looking into things that Fuck you, Jeff. I didn't do anything. All I did was play the game.